we just assume we're gonna get up and everything's gonna be the same as it was yesterday. My name is Lorraine Roberts. I was born in Franklin County. When I first heard Lorraine's diagnosis, I was in line to pick up my grandchildren from school and I was devastated. I was coughing up blood and I went to the doctor, you know, after several weeks. They did an x-ray. That's when they said, it, you know, it was cancer and started the treatments. They just didn't think it could be operated on. The um, radiation was so hard and the chemo was just sick as a dog, couldn't eat anything, couldn't swallow. That's when I went to see the endocrinologist and he said, with your permission, I'd like to refer you to Dr. Shanka at um, UVA. So I said, well, sure. So they called me in 15 minutes and we had an appointment set up for the next week. So her thyroid cancer was invading into her uh, windpipe, which is what was causing her to have the um, episodes of coughing up blood. When she was initially seen, it was thought that it would be too risky to do surgery um, for her. You know, she was um, a little discouraged about how things were going, but really wanted to fight this and beat this cancer. And so even though she had an aggressive tumor and that we could tell that surgery was gonna be a pretty substantial undertaking, she seemed uh, like she was up for it. I said, are you sure you've done these before? And he said, if I didn't think I could do it, I wouldn't put you through it. We did a thyroidectomy, which means removing the, the thyroid gland uh, in its entirety. But because it was also invading into the windpipe, we had to remove a segment of the windpipe. It's a complex and technically challenging surgery to, to save those uh, nerves and to remove the cancer in its entirety. Thankfully, it went uh, beautifully and she did great. When I came home from the hospital, the kids had all put up signs all along this private road, you know, welcome home and all this stuff. It was just so neat. So for advanced thyroid cancer, best treatment is surgery. When you put the experience of the providers and the, and the team that we have here and you add to that a patient who's motivated and in relatively good health and determined, we get great outcomes. I do think about what would have happened if she hadn't gone for that second opinion. You know, we would have lost her. I know that I have an appointed time to die. I know the Lord's with me. I know the Lord takes care of all that. I had a pretty good outlook on life already, I think. I've always been pretty positive. Just makes me realize how precious every day is. 